What's going on, guys? It's Greg at Tron. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I made a video on my top 10 Xbox 360 games. So uh, all this week, I'm just going to talk about those games individually. All right. I'm, first, I'm just going to talk about Ninja Gaiden 2. I know in my video, like some of the the cases were like all over here, but I'll try to show y'all. Yeah, man, this this is just one of my favorite games. It, it's just in general, it's got to be. Uh, it was just so epic. The fighting, the combat was just really on point. Uh, you really felt, you know, cutting into people. Uh, it was pretty bloody, pretty violent, but I was into that. You know, I'm, I'm still into it. Uh, but what made this game great was, uh, first I'll just talk about the villains. Uh, like, I'll just talk about the bosses first, you know. Each boss just brings their own game, and each boss is just epic in their own way. Maybe not all of them, maybe a couple of them. There might be one or two who's kind of easy. But, uh, each boss is pretty unique. Everybody brought something to the table, you know, Genshin was the most normal, uh, but he was also one of the toughest, you know, because they had to make him so, uh, like, so agile and so, so tough because he was a human, so I had probably the toughest time with him, well, not the toughest, you know, you fight a fire demon, he's just bringing his A game, and everybody, man. The, the spider clan he, he he was probably the easiest boss but uh yeah the villains were on point and it was worth the wait like a lot of games will have a, a decent chapter and at the end of the chapter you're like but no no not this worth the wait each villain and this game has quite a few chapters so it'll it'll keep you occupied for a while I haven't played it in a while myself. I did play 3. Didn't like 3 nearly as much. But also, man, this game, I just got to keep on holding it. Uh, the weapons, okay. You start off with the sword, and uh, you're given the ability to upgrade your sword up to, well, up to 2 times. So, like, you can, the max is, like, level 3, I think. Or there might be 4 levels. I don't remember. But you can max out your weapons based on how much money you get. And uh, I think you get money from killing people. And not only do you use the sword, but you get weapons along the way. Okay, so I think the staff is the second weapon you get. Uh, after killing the wolf villain, I don't remember his name, you get the death scythe. Uh, you get nunchucks. Uh, you don't get side blades, but what do you get? Uh... You get a, uh, what are those? I said nunchucks. Well, the nunchucks have blades on them. And you get tonfas, that's what I want to say. Uh, and you get these claws, I think that's on the cover. Yeah, that, in his hand right there. You get up to, like, eight weapons at least. Not all of them you get along the way. Some of them you can just buy. And that's another good thing. You can uh, purchase medicine and uh, herbs, all this stuff. That'll help you out. You can purchase arrows. You, you got to be on point when it comes to your bow and arrow, man. You, it's it's not easy all the time. You you have to be on top of your game when you're shooting folks. And it's really nice when you, you charge up your energy for Xbox. I think you hold Y. So for PlayStation, it would be triangle. Wait. It's not on PlayStation. Oh. But, uh... Yeah, hold down Y, charge up your energy, boost it all the way, let go of that button. He just un unleashes just all this fury, just all this power, all this energy. It's it's crazy. It'll take out like three or four people, and that works pretty well on the bosses. And uh, same idea with the bow and arrow. Uh, hold down, well, what is it? I think hold down Y with your bow. I don't remember. It's been too long. I need to start over. But, uh, that whole idea was nice. Uh, man, what else do I want to say about this? This this good stuff. The story was pretty nice. 
the story kind of goes with the villains. I mean, you, you kind of maneuver through the cities, and whether you're underground or whether you're in hell, you just maneuver through there, uh, survive, and then fight the boss at the end. Then move on to the next chapter. The, the story is pretty linear. And then they have a couple aspects here and there where you uh, run and jump off walls and stuff, but there's not a whole lot of that. Uh, man, I hope I don't leave anything out of this. It's just good stuff. I played Ninja Guy in three, man. I didn't like it nearly as much. I gotta say, but I, that'll be a different video. Uh, I would give this. Damn, I always feel like I'm leaving something out. Yeah, I'm going to wrap this up. I would give it, I think, a 9.1. Yeah, I, I think that's pretty fair. Uh, I got this used, like, last year. Yeah, it was 10 bucks at GameStop. So, uh, I would recommend it. I say go out right now and get it. If you don't have Ninja Gaiden 2, go get it. Uh, but, yeah... 10 bucks, that's when I got it. It might be even cheaper now used. So uh, let me know what you think, and I'll be making another video soon. All right, bye.